Here I'll show you how to create a basic static array in VBA. Now there are two types of arrays, dynamic and static. This one covers static and I'm going to show you two ways to actually declare or create that static array variable. Then how to populate that array variable with values, elements, items, whatever you want. And how to access the values that you have stored in that variable. So let's go to Excel and get started. In this tutorial, I'll be using two keyboard shortcuts, Alt F11 to go to the VBA window and get back to Excel, and Alt F8 to view and run the macros. So let's go to the VBA window to get started, Alt F11, insert a module, and I'm going to call this macro simply static array. Now remember that an array is simply a variable that can contain more than one element or one item. So whereas a regular variable can contain one number or one phrase, one sentence, one whatever, we can contain multiple separate items within an array variable. But the array is still just a variable. Now since the array variable can contain multiple elements, we need to tell the macro how many elements we want the array to contain. With a static array, you cannot change the number of elements within the array. So if we say we want two elements in the array, we can't later change that. So that's the difference between a static and a dynamic array. And a static array is the most basic type of array. And to declare it, it's really easy. 